<clears throat> Where's the remote? For the uh fan. Wait for something to get on. <clears throat> Share this with my friends. Hey, Dagologist, what's up? Want to do a quick live stream before I go to sleep. Wait for a couple people to get on. <clears throat> yeah, let's get me up to 800. What am I at right now? Let's see. I think the worst time to go live. I'm at 798. So that's good. <clears throat> I'll wait for a couple more people to go on. Come on, hopefully, and uh, get a nice score to share. Yep, to have the kids. Cheers. <clears throat> oh, awesome. Out of banks. I heard that's really beautiful out there. I want to go there one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll give it 30 more seconds, see if anybody comes on. I'll talk about what I got specifically for metal detecting in where I live. And then hopefully some people see it after the stream is done. <clears throat> Out of Banks, Georgia or North Carolina? Oh, Georgia. Brother birthday. Happy birthday. And my brother's coming up from North Carolina and we're going to have a good time. Good luck. Hope you guys find something. Good stuff. Happy birthday. Hey, somebody's on here. All right, we'll get more people in. <clears throat> Good evening. The Adventurist, how you doing? Long Island Hardcore Dectors, what's up? All right, we got some people in here. Beautiful. <clears throat> What's going on? All right. Really good books. So one of the founders of my metal detector club, he, he uh, had a private yard sale just for the detectors, detectorists, and um, historians on Staten Island he invited. <clears throat> and he took the, obviously he took the stuff he wanted to keep, kept it, but the stuff he thought that should stay on Staten Island, he didn't want to like put on eBay or anything. He gave us the opportunity to buy it. Now, I was looking all all over the internet for this book. I believe the author passed away, um, unfortunately. But um, this is an awesome book for Staten Island right here. Especially if you want to treasure hunt. You shouldn't really tell anybody, right? <laughs> right there, Secret Places of Staten Island. 
and it has all these maps, all this historical stuff. This guy was definitely um, a part of an environmental group preserving the uh, woods from overbuilding, even though we do have some overbuilding out here. I mean, it's just awesome. You see where all the properties were. <clears throat> and there's other books. He just has all this stuff related to the boroughs, Staten Island's first. Permanent settlers, I think they were um, referred. They were the um, Lenape or Lenape Indians, Native Americans. Hey, Barb, how's it going? I didn't even get to look at these yet, but this is the fun part of Malatech and doing research before, and then when you find something, figuring out what that is. And if it's really significant, I really um, encourage to give it to your local um, <clears throat> museum. You know, hopefully they could give you a little plug of who found it. But we do, it is really important to preserve stuff because once we're, we're gone, what is this stuff? It's just stuff at the end of the day. We want to preserve the history. Um, here's another one. Staten Island. Uh, Theodora Dubois. Check that out. And I, um, now look at that. I had to get this. Had to. Because I work for an electric utility company in Staten Island. <clears throat> and this is old. A condensed history of Staten Island is Borough Hall. Compliments of Staten Island Edison Company. I mean, a corporation. Now, that is no longer a company here. Now, Consolidated Edison owns it. Isn't that cool? I don't represent them whatsoever. I'm just showing you this is historical and significant. And um, I'm excited to have this because I am a utility worker. Well, I work for utility business, rather. And it's local history. I love it. Cool stuff. And I, I had never seen this before anywhere. So, <clears throat> see? Then I got a couple of kids' books. Unfortunately, my kids already have them. These are the classics. I remember this from school. So I'm going to wind up giving this away to somebody. Um, if you know anybody that wants that. That, <clears throat> my wife already bought this for my kids. The ABCs of Staten Island. So if anybody in Staten Island wants this for their child who would appreciate it, I will just give it to them. Okay, even though I bought it. Um, very important. Anybody know kids that would want something like this? ABCs of Staten Island. See that? That's the 9-11 Memorial. It's just a cool book. And reading is very important for kids. We try to, well, my wife, thank God for my wife, reads to them every day. And they are so far ahead, not because they're geniuses, because teaching, parenting is half the battle, 100%, hands down. So I got all those in one shot. I mean, you would have to go on eBay and Amazon, nitpick these things, and I don't even know if you could get the amount of info that I got from these books. Um, so, yeah, if you're into metal detecting, treasure hunting, diving, um, <clears throat> excuse me, magnet fishing, any type of history hunting, we meet the last Wednesday of every month on Brielle Avenue. Okay. Um, what's it called? See <clears throat> old Seaview Hospital. It's from the 1800s, all the way in the back. If you need directions, contact me, sub me, and I'll let you know when we're going. Let me read these comments. It's scrolling, and I'm just yapping away like I normally do. Okay, let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Barb. That book looks like quite a score. Thank you. All right, that's a lot of metal tech in New York City. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, River Sticks Outdoors, how you doing? <clears throat> Oh, I know where you work. Oh, boy. <clears throat> like a sweaty score. It is. Good point. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sweat is killing me. Hey, Barbara Condon. How you doing? Where did you find the book? Oh, one, uh, Barbara, one of the uh, founders of the Metal Detecting Club, who's no longer in the club anymore. He's actually moving to North Carolina. One of the Carolinas. And he had a private yard sale just for historians. 
local um, non-for-profits. It, it seemed like they, they were um, well-versed people into history. And some of the metal detective clubs, it was just a small group. He let us see all this local history. And I only brought so much money, but he gave me a good deal on these books. And it was just awesome. And I'm never selling these. <laughs> Let's see what else. Hi, Long Island. Hey, Lou. Didn't know... Uh, didn't know you were live. Oh, yeah, I just went live. So I need two more subs to 800. How many do I have? <laughs> hey, New Level Auto. Keith, how you doing? Thank you. Hey, Amy. How you doing? Part-time detector. Check her channel out. Part-time detectorist in Florida. She's awesome. Hello, Degologist. Hi, Jonathan. Still need to. It's okay. What are you going to do? Just check how cool is this. Look at this. I, I got to read this. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel but when you live somewhere and you read the history of it. It's exciting. To me, it is at least. And I, I love this borough. Besides um, the ticks and the amount of littering. It is a beautiful place to live. Suburbs, close to the city, beautiful uh, families, middle class, blue collar, good parks, good schools, good Italian food, even though I'm on a diet. Seven, 798. Good night to see you. The night is young. What time is it? 10.52. Do you know where your children are? Yeah, it is awesome. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find something good in here. Mm -hmm. Find something good in here I'll share with you guys. I should have did this before I went live, but uh, my impulses kicked in like they normally do. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh, yeah, and I just wanted to mention that my channel represents me and no corporation or business or anything, just to get that out of the way. That needs to be said. <laughs> Excuse me. Did George Washington ever come to Staten Island? Oh boy. Mezaru, Staten Island Patrons. This looks really good. Oh wow, I got a new subscriber. <laughs> Amy O, how you doing? She in here? Hmm. Okay. Welcome to the <clears throat> The most interesting show about nothing right now. One more to go. 800 subs. One more to go. So let me tell you something. Everybody in here is cool. You guys should all sub each other because every one of your channels uh, I like. You're all cool. <clears throat> 799. Who's going to be 800? Oh, so Keith, do you know anybody that would want this? A kid? Maybe I should just do a giveaway for Staten Islanders. We'll see. My channel only reps people from the river. Well, I plan on going in the rivers out here, so I just got to get um, the gear. What river are you talking about, Will? <clears throat> Hank, diagnostic dog. There you go. I use another account just for you, pal. Oh, boy. I think I got it. Oh, my God. Let's see. Any of the people I know that sees the ch they see this channel, they like, look at this guy. <laughs> I don't care. 801. I got 801. <laughs> yeah, so I bought this, too. I don't even know how much he charged me, but um, I got this, too. I just liked it because it was old, but I, 
My kids already have it. It's classics. The classics. Very good. Read to your kids. You know anybody that wants this thing? Local? I could just give it to a kid. Uh, this is an older book. I don't know if there's anything that's going to offend people, but I don't care. So if anybody wants it, take it. Yeah, me too. Um, if you're in Manhattan, go to the Strand Bookstore. That's my favorite store. It's right near Union Square Park. American on Patriot. My guy, how you doing? Underfoot. There's Keith again. How's it going, pal? 801. Yeah, we did it. It's a miracle. Oh, my God. I still can't monetize. And you know what? I just watched that video from Mail Tech and NYC, one of my favorite channels right there. Make sure you subscribe to him. Great channel. All, all these channels, Underfoot, Barbara, um, Part-Time Detectorist, Armed American Patriot, Long Island uh, Hardcore Detectors, all of you, all you guys, sub to each other. Um, just lost my train of thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you I was watching this video that um, Metal Tech NYC showed me. You need about 4,000 watch hours, you know 4,000 times 60. What is that? 24,000 minutes of people watching your videos? I'm not that entertaining. Lou, I need to go there to get Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. Want to make a trip? Sure. Um, I'm actually going to be there tomorrow. Uh, I have a meeting in Manhattan at 1 to 3 p.m. or 3.30. I don't know if you're going to be around there. But you better go soon. They just changed the mayor against the will of the owner, not to get political, changed the status of this bookstore building. So they're going to be hit with all these charges because they just made it a historical building and they might not be able to pay for that. So it's just sad because the bookstores is going away into the digital world, going away like CDs, DVDs. It's just sad. I like I like to hold a book. I don't like to hold an iPad. I like to hold a book. Hi. See that? You touch it. You got an old book. Oh no. You break it, sniff it. We have a man down. Oh no. Strand bought my copy of Oddkins for six hundred bucks. See, yeah, they this store in Manhattan. Um, we'll buy your book back, your books back. It's pretty awesome. Okay. It's 4,000 hours within a span of a year plus a thousand subscribers. Oh, so, okay. That's attainable. I thought you had to have it the second you hit a thousand. <clears throat> good luck to the bookstores. Yeah. Good luck is right. I don't know how Barnes and Noble is surviving. If you go to Barnes and Noble, Pick up a book that you like. Go on Amazon. Look at it. You're like, man, this is like forty to fifty percent cheaper, and it's delivered. You know, um, Barnes and Noble, you got to pay twenty five dollars just to get the discount. I mean, you want these stores to stay, so it's like a catch twenty two. You either save money, put them out of business, pay more money, now you're losing money. It's not going to survive. It's like the video rentals. 4,000 hours in one year. It could add up. If you get a lot of people watching, it adds up when they put them all together. The books are lower priced. Yeah, I love that store. I think it's like four floors of books. Live streaming is immense towards that. Do they allow the live streaming to go towards that goal? I don't know. I don't know if the rules changed. I hope so. That'd be cool. This is great. Everybody's interacting. This is what I like. I love uh, talking and listening. Oh, man, that number adds up quick. The key is to have good tags. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, Tom, just an estimate. How many ticks do you think you had on you this year? I have not been bit. Thank God or thank goodness. Uh, I was in Jersey. I had a, a giant one on my back. Freaked out. Took my shirt off. Um, went home, showered. No bites. Um, 
then I think I had another one of my pants, flicked it off, gone. And then uh, my wife was working near a school near the sandy area where she parked. For some reason, she brought her shoes upstairs, not a problem. I'm in my shower, coming out of the shower, off her shoe comes this tick into the bathroom. So I'm freaking out. I thought it came off my clothes. But um, I didn't get bit once, thank God. I, I, I just don't want to go in the woods at all. And there's deer everywhere. I mean everywhere. The city is saying that they're gone. They're not gone. They are everywhere. They're not, they keep swimming over from Jersey at low tide. And uh, that the secondary program is the millions of dollars they are wasting is not working. What's the dot on his cheek? What, this? This? Um, maybe scars or moles? <laughs> I'm missing it. Fourth floor is for signed copies, older things. Yeah, that's the cool one. Uh, it's a cool floor. Oh, my God. <coughs> it's so bad this year. Excuse me. I don't have watch hours on this, even with my legends. Wow, Amy. That's hard to believe. Do you have a thousand yet? Oh, these are beauty marks. Seven for me uh, so far, but one is biting me for like only an hour. Not bad. Yeah, get those things off. And uh, Underfoot Adventures, <clears throat> I think it's Cutter, the brand Cutter. They sell a kit for 30 Two dollars. You put the tick in. You get the tick. You put it in the freezer or whatever. Then you can buy this kit, put it in there, send it out. You get the results right away. Quick turnaround tells you if it has uh, any kind of disease. That's. I think it's probably better than going to the doctor and making them do it because it's not covered by insurance and God knows what they're going to charge you. I ask my insurance. No, they don't cover it. So that's a great product to have. He's trying to get you paranoid about ticks. Oh, I'm already paranoid. It could be a tick. Oh, my God. Ah, hypochondriac. Did everyone hit that like button? I didn't even hit it yet. <laughs> I know, I know. it has got thick skin. See how thick that is? It's thick. Not on. These one, I don't have 1K, but I also don't have the watch hours. Oh, three days and they test for tick, not the person. That's right. Yep. It's a way to go. Do you have anything to show you over here? Oh, I got a parking ticket. These are always fun. Always fun. <laughs> Check out his channel. This guy, Jonathan Mejia and Meltec and NYC. I'm watching these guys. I'm fairly new to their channels. And there they are under the Brooklyn Bridge near the beach. I'm like, these guys are insane. These are the type of people I like. So it was <laughs> very entertaining to watch because um, who the hell Meltec's near the Brooklyn Bridge? I wouldn't even think of that. I'm kind of jealous I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 10 likes wow pretty cool I need to drink water stay healthy I wonder why they call it that it's from Maine I hate water that they are in copies show up My wife ordered tick spray that has 100% deed on in it. Some high power. Yeah, don't put that on your skin. I mean, that's at least what the safety people tell me where I work, um, or somebody at work told me that. Just put it on your clothes. I don't know how good that is for you. You need 20 videos with a thousand views that last a few minutes each, and boom, you'll be there. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't walk on the rocks at the beach with the green stuff, the algae, whatever that is. Um, I think uh, Merrill, Metal Technic at NYC, took a big spill. Luckily, he did not get injured. 
Not, not on the skin. Long Island hog code detectors. He finds really cool stuff out there too. Probably really old places in uh, well, there's old places everywhere, obviously, <laughs> obviously, but there's definitely <laughs> probably good places in Long Island to do. Yes, yeah, check out that chat that uh show, Brooklyn Bridge Metal Detecting. That was one of my favorite ones to watch. That was pretty funny. I was just going to talk about these books. I can't believe I'm still talking. <clears throat> okay, this weekend, my young assistant, very proud of her, graduated college. So uh, I'll be doing that um, Saturday. And then ShopRite had this deal for the beef prime rib. It's all filet mignons. I think it was like seven or 8000 a pound. We'll get one of those puppies, slicing them. Having everybody over and we have filet mignons for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat like a bunch of gavones. You could leave your live stream running all night. Well, that, oh, that might. Um, does that hurt any algorithm or anything like that? Thank you, Barb. I always wanted to call somebody Barb after watching. Jess, what's the name of that show? Stranger Things. I can finally call somebody Barb. <laughs> That's true. You ever see some people's channels, like they abuse those ads? There'll be like 50 yellow notches. I'm not watching that. There's no way. Unless, uh, I guess if you get that YouTube red, you could um, get rid of all that. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I got to see the second season. I heard some mixed things about it. It wasn't good. So um, I didn't get to watch the second season. I did watch Better Call Saul. That was pretty good. And I didn't get to see The Detectors. Has anybody watched that show, that English show, Netflix or uh, Hulu, whatever, which, which one it's on? Heard it's funny. I have YouTube Red, and it's worth every penny. Oh, really? Did you watch The Karate Kid? When it came back? <laughs> yeah, it's so annoying, and they have to double the ads, where two ads play. But yeah, that's insane. I, I, there used to be a plug-in for YouTube um, that you could put on your computer. I don't know if you can still do that. Uh, I really got to get my tech-savvy game up to par. I'm, like, still stuck in, I don't know. Chat rooms. I put it up when I'm watching my soap opera. That's a good idea. You know what's good? If you ever do a yard sale, have it running live. People like to watch those. Which one? The Detectorist? Horrible or something else? Or the Karate Kid? It's like one of those things like I like the idea of it, but I don't actually like doing it, you know, like dating an ex-girlfriend. Sounds like a good idea. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> the Karate Kid. Yeah, I saw the first free one. Horrible. I don't think they're paying these writers anymore. That's why they keep rehashing all this nonsense. But uh, if anybody's seen that, Detectorist is worth watching because I have a limited amount of free time between the family and my hobbies. I don't really watch TV anymore at all. Maybe I'll uh, – no, I don't watch TV anymore. Especially if my wife finds out, yeah, even if I was single, I, I was talking about if I was single, it's like dating an ex over. No, that ain't happening. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> The new Twilight Zone is pretty good. Is that on Netflix? I didn't even know that a new Twilight Zone. I gave Fahrenheit. Uh, what was that Fahrenheit? What's the number again, Jess? Four fifty-one. 
yeah, I tried giving that a chance. I thought that would have been awesome. Watch halfway through and I shut it and I shut it off. I didn't like it. Where is everybody watching from tonight? Anybody in the USA? Out of the USA, in other words, is this a global live stream right now? Yeah, are we um are we international globalists? What's going on here? We have Florida, Long Island, Staten Island. Oh, nice on Netflix. I'll definitely check that out. I like the um, Twilight Zone and uh, Hitchcock stuff too. The old stuff. <coughs> oh, not on Netflix. All right, Patriot. Happy hunting, pal. See if there's anything cool in here. This is a cool property. This is Kreisha man Mansion on Arthur Kill Road. This, the FBI a few times went there looking for a body, digging up the property. But this is really old, this house. There used to be a, a replica right next to it. Two of the same houses. One burnt down or one got knocked down. Now, this one's still there. There's a lot of property. There's definitely cool stuff there. I would love to get permission to do that. I'm sure if somebody has already, but I really want to do that one. Cool place. This is a cool property. Garibaldi Miucci, the real inventor of the telephone. And he sold his patent rights to, believe it, um, what's his name? Bell? That's a cool property. And they actually live there, in that house on Staten Island. I don't use the fire stick. I want to, though. Look at these old properties. Old, old. Look at that house in Staten Island. Look at that. It's so old. We got to go there. Okay. <coughs> Tennessee Adventures. What's going on? You're as smooth. Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> know that song? <clears throat> Hello out there. Tennessee, where are you from? I'm only kidding. All right. Um, thank you all for coming out. I think I'm going to settle down now. I got to do a little cleaning, get to bed because I have a big day at work tomorrow. And thank God it's Friday. Thank goodness. West Shore Expressway is closed. Okay. Not good. Right now? <laughs> I'll stay, steer clear from there. Yes. Thank God it's Friday. See you next time. Good night, all. Thank God it's Friday, of course. Barb, Jonathan, Merrill, Tennessee, Keith, and whoever is out there watching. Have a good night. Keep swinging. Oh, Mike Wolf in the house. Hey, Mike Wolf, Lou Deer. Mike, just getting off now, pal. Happy Friday. Thank you for the subs. Whoever we'll subbed tonight, I'll see you on the radio. It's a pain in the butt in my butt because I have to get to the north side of the island and finish my last call. Sorry, pal. Oh boy. Is anyone like like if I hit end stream, you guys can still talk? I feel bad you guys are still talking. Ciao. Buonanotte. Good night. Good night.